thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel. Oh, good morning. In today's video, we're going to be demonstrating the differences in acrylic pores with silicone and without silicone. I'm going to be showing you my products, the flow trawl that I use, the silicone additive that I use, and the paints that I use in general. So it's going to be a really good video, I think. So you can go and fast forward if you want, but it's going to be the best. So let me know what you think. Love y'all. Enjoy. Hey guys, so as you can see here, I've got some buckets that I got from Walmart. They're 20 quart size plastic totes that you can get. I just drilled some holes in the side, ran some wire through them. They're really good for catching the paint. So here we have some 8x10 canvases that we're going to be using. They have half inch sides there. Easy size to use when you're first starting to work with pores. The first one we're going to be doing without silicone. And the second one we're going to be doing with silicone. Now you just need some clear plastic cups or whatever cups you have around to use. We're also going to be doing four colors in both of them. We're going to be using a titanium white, a primary red, a primary blue, and then we're also going to be using a copper. I get all of my paints from Michaels, they're Artist Loft, they're super cheap, really good quality. These are both also going to be having Flood or Floetrol in them. I get a latex based from Lowe's or Home Depot. It's really cheap, that quart size will last me a long time, so highly recommend it. In this one, we're going to be doing the silicone, and this is the silicone that I use. I use a Treadies, it's a treadmill oil, you can get it off of Amazon for like 8 or 9 bucks, it's super awesome. Um, it only takes two to three drops in it, and that's it, and it really works. So we're going to go ahead and start mixing the paints here. We're going to start the copper. I don't usually measure out my paints exactly. I just make sure that the Floetrol is double the amount of paint, and that's usually a really good consistency for me. The more you work with it, too, you'll be able to see what the consistency is supposed to look like. Um, when I first started, I had a lot of mess-ups here and there where I had too much Floetrol or not enough. If it's too thin, it'll crack over time. If it's too thick, it won't flow as right. So here I'm just stirring all the paints together. There's no silicone added in these yet. It's strictly Floetrol in paint. That's a really good consistency there that you can see. You want to make sure it runs off the popsicle stick really nicely. So lastly, we're mixing the red. This is probably the longest process of everything that you do. It's going to be mixing the paints and making sure you have a good consistency. So make sure you take your time with it. Make sure you feel good about it before you start pouring it into the cup that you're going to be using. Make sure you also have really good muscles in your hands and your wrists because it's a lot of stirring. <laughs> See, that's perfect right there. Good job. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start pouring into the cup a little at a time. Depending on how you pour your colors in, it will determine a different outlook because if you just pour them straight in on top of one another, then they may blend together more. If you kind of swirl the paint around, it may also turn out a little different as well. It just takes time and playing around with it. But we're going to be doing the flip cup method today. So you take your canvas, set it on top of your cup, make sure you got a good grip on it and it's nice and sturdy. Then you're going to just flip it over. I usually let it sit for a couple of seconds just to make sure all the paint flows out of the cup. And then you flip the cup over like so. You can see all those bright, pretty colors in there. You can see small cells already forming. Remember, this is without silicone. So you're just going to take it. Usually it's easier if you go one edge to the other. I usually try to determine which edge I go to first based on what colors I would like to keep because you will lose a lot of the colors and formations that you first have when you pour. So we're going to go to this last edge here. Perfect. I'm just moving some stuff around now, getting the center where I want it to be. And that's it without silicone. So now we're going to take the silicone that I have 
and do two drops in each paint. I've learned over time that three or more is usually a little too much per paint, and sometimes I don't put it in all my paints that I use in a pour, maybe just the white or the black to make those stand out and create some contrast. Like I said, it's just a matter of playing around with it until you figure out what your style is and what you like best. So we just kind of stir them up just a little bit to get the silicone activating with the paint. You don't have to over stir like we did the first time. So here I'm trying to pour the same way that I did the first time. I'm really trying to mimic the pour from the first one so we can get a good um, example of the differences here for you guys. So I'm pouring in the same order of colors that I did the first time, and here we go. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the flip cup method. Flip over. And there we go. Right, and you can already see that these cells are a lot bigger than the first one. I'm going to show you up close a little bit there. The one thing that is a big difference is that the bigger cells with the silicone will have multiple different colors in them usually so you can see a really good breakup of those colors whereas the first one just has really fine lines and fine little details there and has small pockets of color and usually just one color in the cells versus this one where you can see the copper, the blue, the red all in one little cell. So there they are next to each other for you. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see up close. So this is the one without the silicone. You see the fine lines of like the copper and the white standing out there. Really small little bubbles of color all across. Kind of looks like more of a galaxy or space kind of look. And then this is the one with the silicone. You see the bigger pockets of color. Um, a lot of multiple different colors in one pocket as well. So that's it, guys. I hope you like them. Let me know which one's your favorite. Drop a follow, a comment, a like below. Peace. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching my video and subscribing to my channel. I hope you love it. Make sure you subscribe below if you haven't already. What is that? Hmm.